Today, McDonald's is the world's largest restaurant chain by revenue, serving over 69 million customers daily in over 100 countries and greater than 37,000 store locations. That said, McDonald's always hasn't been the large corporation that it is today. The American fast food company was founded in 1940 as a mere hamburger stand in San Bernardino, California. Brothers Richard and Maurice McDonald started out with the idea of serving burgers, fries, and drinks in less than 30 seconds, as opposed to a lot of competitors that were shooting for under 30 minutes. 15 cents is your change. And here you are. What's this? Your food. No, 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 I just ordered. And now it's here. You sure? All right. Where are the, uh, you know, silverware and the plates and everything? You just eat it straight out of the wrapper and then throw it all out. All right. Okay. Where do I eat it? In your car, at the park. At home, wherever you like. Okay, 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 thanks. This was a revolutionary concept at the time and really started to take hold. And over the next few years, the brothers expanded to a few locations and even added in the traditional golden arches that McDonald's is known for. It wasn't until Ray Kroc came along, though, that they discovered franchising and the concept really started to take off. Franchise. 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 Eventually, Ray Kroc bought out the McDonald's brothers as he continued his franchising strategy. Over the years, they introduced things like breakfast and even introduced some characters into the mix. Introducing the world's newest, silliest, and hamburger-eatingest clown, Ronald McDonald. Now, where is that clown? Oh, Ronald Ronald! Ronald! Hey, Ronald! Here I am, kid. Hey, isn't watching TV fun? Especially when you got delicious McDonald's hamburgers. If you're thinking about joining the world's largest franchise program, what are the requirements and what can you expect? Well, to begin with, McDonald's is going to expect a net worth requirement of $500,000. That includes unencumbered liquid assets available to invest in McDonald's prior to entering into a franchise application process. If you're able to meet the net worth requirement, the next step is to see if you have enough for the initial investment. According to the franchise disclosure document, the estimated initial investment for a new McDonald's store ranges between $1.2 and $2.2 million. This includes a $45,000 upfront franchise fee. In addition to the upfront initial investment, you should also expect ongoing fees in the form of royalty and advertising expenses. Like most other franchises, these are a big part of the money that is sent back to the franchisor. For McDonald's, you should expect to pay a 4% royalty and 4% of sales in advertising. If you're able to come up with a few million dollars in order to open up McDonald's, your next question is probably how much money can you make? Well, on that initial investment, you can expect to do about two and a half million dollars in sales per location and about $300,000 of store level profits. So is the McDonald's franchise a good investment for you? That's up for you to decide, along with your financial advisor, accountant, or other people that you trust. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel to watch more reviews like this and see what other franchises cost. You can also check out thegrubwire.com. Thanks for watching.